Welcome back to episode 2 of Bramble the Mountain King. Last time we were about to get eaten by a troll, and our sister was still... still missing. Somewhere. Let's see if we can find her. What other troubles we can get into. Okay. So I thought we'd been eaten. But no. Our sister? Ah, oh, the dawn. Amazing. Just like in The Hobbit. I guess that's where Tolkien got that mythology, right? Did he borrow it from Scandinavian? Ulle was comforted by the morning sun. He had survived the night, but just barely. Oh god, by the skin of his teeth. At least he had found the stone again. So I guess we can throw the stone now. And it felt like it was his sister's way of telling him he was on the right path. Sorry, trolley. Alright, here we go. Amazing. Oh, I've never been so thankful to see the sun. <laughs> oh, amazing. Tiny friends. The scenery in this game is spectacular though, right? Oh dear, and her foal. Beautiful. Yes. This kind of idyllic walk can't last though, can it? Surely not. Our hedgehog friend. Is that a worm? They're fishing? Oh. Now it's how we get the hedgehog to go on. Across the water. Surely a fish is going to come and take the hedgehog's worm though. This... This is incredibly cute. A frog on the lily pad. Okay. Make our way over here. Thank you, hedgehog friend. A million thanks to you. All right. Cool, made it across. The search for the sister continues. Yay! Well, he seems excited. Hey, 
Hey, little ones. Is this our friend? Oh, we're going to have to herd them down there to sneeze him awake, right? I sense that that is our challenge. Bless you. Oh, thank you so much. What a helpful, what a helpful fellow. Smurf. Okay. We are now wearing a pixie hat. Oh, so it it doesn't want to get wet, but it's fine for me to get saturated. I see how it is. Uh, up here. You want to go around the other side. Probably up to Papa Smith. What's this? A figure. Yeah, I'll take that. Okay. Maybe around this way. Some sort, of, sort of stone axe there. I feel like they're taunting me. Come on. Oh, careful, careful. Let's go. Reunited. <laughs> Very sweet. <laughs> Bye. Oh. Oh, no, we've got the spirit of dance in us. The spirit of dance is overcoming us. Oh. going. Oh, the stone. Ah, oh, we can light our way with it. In fact, it's probably best if we do light our way with it. We're about to do a jumping puzzle. How quickly it stopped being idyllic. Okay. Climb up here. There is something out there in the shadows. I'm not sure I want to know what it is. feel like it probably has sleep apnea. 
Oh, shh. <sighs> Bugger. Okay. We jumped too far. Are we going to see the silhouette of something terrifying? Bats above us? This way? Oh, this is stressful. Let's go one more. Might be someone in there. Oh, there is. That'd be why. That's why it looks like it. You can stay there, my friend. Nightmare fuel. Alright. Can we find our way out of this dark cave? Some symbols. Ah, the fiddle player. Maybe it's magic that's lured us down here? Is it a troll? A troll plays the music and then burns us alive. Let's find out. And are we about to see some scary eyes? Yep. It looks like some fire. Maybe? But we're so close to the exit, I'm sure nothing bad will happen. You know? We're so close. Nothing bad could happen. <gasps> oh no, the spirit of music again! I do not think she means us well. Can I get up on that log? No. Just have to wade deeper and deeper in the mud. Hey, little pixie friends, can you help me? Or are you hiding from her as well? That's a hand. Okay, so there was a troll here. What remains of a troll? has been lured to its death by the Midnight Fiddler. Unsurprisingly, the Midnight Fiddler was my nickname in high school. Oh, shit. Oh no! 
No, 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 no. Okay, so we don't want to miss. We don't want to miss a lily pad. That's not helpful, though. Uh, okay. Oh. Can she chase us up here? she can't chase us onto land. Oh, she's just out there. Oh, is she going to make us... She's going to play her fiddle and we're going to get lured to our death. Maybe not lured to our death, maybe just sonically blasted. Okay. Oh. Oh, that's fatal. It's a fatal. It's a sonic boom. Okay. Okay, now we're having to hide behind boulders. Great. Oh! Oh, brutal. Okay. Alright, stay behind those. Get down. thought about committing, I couldn't commit. Okay, here we go. Oh! Oh! Okay. She's not the only thing to be scared of. Getting crushed by rocks, also an option. And she still reaches. No, we appear to be safe. Ish. Oh, shh. Safe ish. to slide back into the water? Oh. I guess so. Because we're here now. I feel like she... is probably going to return. <coughs> this poor kid is getting the absolute crap knocked out of him. 
And now we're back in a cave. With some skeletons. Another book. Okay. In his past life, Nekin was a simple man that loved playing his violin. But the village did not appreciate his talent. Another story within a story. People would frequently bully him. And the only soul that did not was a girl that Nekin fell in love with. One day the bullying and beatings became so severe that Nekin's anger finally overtook him. He marched into the village, playing forbidden melodies that made everyone dance until their flesh and bone got worn down. Okay. So it's not a she either. I assumed the uh, the fiddler was a she, but the violin is... it's knocking. They eventually died, leaving behind shuffling corpses, still trying to dance to Nekin's melodies. It's the neck, neck, necking on heaven's door. I'm so sorry. His love was not spared death either. Devastated, Nakin left the town and lived by the lake drowning in his sorrow. Where he still lures people with his deadly music. Okay. And they're blocking their ears so as not to listen to his terrible tunes. Hectic, hectic. <laughs> All right, we'll make our way through this cave. I feel like we're going to face off with Nakan again. Maybe immediately. Are you going to pop up over this cliff? Yep. Okay, making our way down the river. Oh! Oh! We are not making our way down the river. Let's try that again. This this boy is so fragile. Oh! Oh! Okay. Waterfalls, here we come. Did he just inadvertently save us? Did we just get saved? Oh, we look grim. As the rain falls down. Oh, no. That's like a Batman Bane cover. Up we get. Slowly making our way forward. I mean, we're broken, but not as bad as... as Nakin. It's kind of sad, considering he got bullied to that. 
kind of a sad moment. Oh, we're in our dream world again. Do not fall in this river. Alright. Making our way past, past the babbling brook. We're lucky we might see Aragorn up here. I get that vibe, right? Was it called Weathertop? What was the place where he fights the Nazgul? Let me know in the comments below. If you remember. As the bramble pulled closer and closer. Darkness took hold of his heart and filled it with fear. Okay, so we can make him go back with the light. Then there was a light. Who brought the light? Who brought the light? We look like a zombie. Oh my gosh. Hello? Who is this? This isn't our sister, is it? I don't think so. Some sort of spirit of the forest? Hmm. Okay. Well, she stayed with us till morning. She covets the power stone. Wow. Okay. Tuva what did she do? There's a light in the darkness. She had filled his heart with courage oh. and the stone with her radiance. It is. The bramble covers all where darkness has taken hold, Tuva said. Okay. Follow the light. You will find what you are searching for within the mountain. Thanks, Tuva. Follow the light. All right, off we go again. Ah, but now we have to contend with brambles. Ah, but we can get rid of it with a stone of light. Okay, so we have to destroy the flowers. The bramble bramble flowers. Okay. Wherever we can find them. Huh. 
Very good. Up the moss. More flowers, I see you. Can't hide from me, Brambleflower. I kind of like the beautiful purple color that they have. Oh, where was that? Oh. Get back, Bramble. Okay. Still a little bit of light to guide us, though. I wonder if it's dawn or dusk, though, because if it's heading towards nighttime, we might be in trouble. Ah, our friend. Hello. Okay, why is there stuff there? Are we going to have to hide? Looks like... Well, that scorches, I wonder. I get a sense it might. I get a sense it's too light for us. my impression. Searchlight, isn't it? Oh, it brambled everything. We're not strong enough to take on that light yet, I guess. Okay, over the log. Over the log and far away. How do we get around? Oh! Not down there. Not down there. That's good to know. You know, trial and error. They can't all be deaths against bosses. Some of them, it's just falling off a cliff. Some of it's an accidental slip down a ravine. Do we... It seems to be telling us to go that way though. Which is why I'm confused. Can I jump it? No. Okay, we can't jump it. Maybe we're going to have to do some flashing around to see what we can see. Nothing there I can use. Okay. Oh, it's a bridge. It's a footbridge. I couldn't see because of the angle. I swear. It was the angle, everyone. Okay, no, no fancy stuff. Just climb the moss. 
Let's go. The land was once a peaceful kingdom with a great king. Oh, now, shit. His image embodied the darkness <laughs> that drowned the world in bramble. Whoopsie. Okay, so we don't want to do that. Can we can we just climb up? No. Thought maybe we could get up to his head. But that was not the point. Oh good. Oh good. Buddy. Oh. Saved. Saved by the rock golem. Thanks, friend. Lamus would always look after his only friend. Thanks, Lamus. Those eyes are still freaky though, dude. Still freaky. But we love you. Fire. Someone Ole felt a chill as he saw the warnings for desperate mothers carrying their infants. They pleaded with them not to carry out the unspeakable acts they had set their minds to. Mm. What is going on here? Sacrificing. Sacrificing children, maybe. Sacrificing people to a spirit. Oh, good. Jumping puzzle. Ah, <laughs> oh, but do we want to get across to the moss? I think we do. Which goes further? This? Yep. Push a log down. Cross the bridge. I imagine. And then sacrifice. Hopefully not sacrifice anything to uh, an evil troll or some such. Come on, you got this. Push. Heave. Good enough. Okay. All right. Careful. Careful, it's a round log. It could roll. No, we're fine. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine, everybody. We can be calm. This will be fine. Just a scarecrow. Nothing scary here, just a scarecrow to scare away the, the crows. Just to scare the crows, right? Oh, except it has eyes. And I think it smells us. I feel like that scarecrow will possibly be chasing us in a minute. Does anyone want to take that bet? <coughs> Too busy worrying about the scarecrow, not worrying about the water that can drown me. Amazing. Okay. Stay on the bridge. Don't fall into the water. Hmm. 
What is that? Tools? Left trigger, right trigger. I guess like a little ferry. And this is what we're going to have to use to escape the scarecrow. Great. Easy. Oh, and it's gotten dark. Because as soon as the sun sets, we're in trouble, right? Push. No, okay. Wait, wait, wait till the crate settles, then jump on it. Noted. Noted. You think growing up in the far north of the world, you would be better at swimming? You would assume. But apparently not. Okay. Oh yeah. Just some creepy little eyes. Out of here. Get out of here. Can you grab me? Oh! Uh. Okay, the hardest bit is just staying on. Just staying on the jetty. It seems. More embarrassing because there was an audience when I fell off. You know? All these people looking at me. Ah, we'll be fine now. Okay. Surely the chase sequence will start soon. Which way, left or right? Let's look left. And some, some net to climb. That's through that bramble. Okay, so if we want to open it, we need to get the flower on the other side. Noted. Or I guess netted, more to the point. To what for reason? Can we pick up the lantern? No. Can we look over this side? Yes. Another bramble. What did that open up? This beam? Ah, a pulley. Finding all the pieces, I don't know what to do with them just yet. I guess climb them. I guess in this case, climb this piece. Aha! A boat. Okay, but we need to catch that boat now. We're going to need to catch that boat. If that boat's floating away, we're in trouble. Don't fall in. Oh, it's here. Okay. Up the stairs, down the stairs, up the stairs, up the stairs. Let's have a look. Is anybody home? Ah, oh, just a, just a fire door. Nothing to see here, just a fire door. Um, it's got a little square on it. Let's have a look at the door. 
Do it's got a cross on it. A circle and an, a cross. Circle and a cross. There's the cross. And now we just need a circle, I would imagine. Is it that simple? Let's find out. If we drink it and it's bad, we'll know we've messed up. Or oh, we'll just pour it off. Okay. What is it now? A square, a circle, a circle, and a circle. It's over here. That's where we're heading to. A square, a circle, and a circle, and a circle. Is it like a diamond square? Yes, it is. Okay. Okay, so... The reason it was simple the first time is because there's more of them. And it's this tincture here from the looks of it. Alright. Pour one out for the homies. Let's go. Brew a potion. We're through. little Blair Witch situation there. Okay, we're gonna need a crank. Oh! Okay, so we've got some satanic stuff going on. A lot of pentagrams. Sacrifice blood. Oh no. Okay, so I think they may be sacrificed. Yeah. Crank. So somebody did some sacrificing. In this, uh, in this terrible house. Anything else in here? I don't think so. Just the nightmare tome and a ladder. And some Blair Witch. Some Blair Witch business. Oh. Is this where it's happening? She, she probably didn't see me, right? Okay, so I thought the scarecrow was gonna mess with us. But no, I think it's the... The strange... Str strange lady who wants to do evil magic. Am I stacking books? 
I think I'm stacking books. Any other books here? I feel like that's what we're doing, right? We're stacking books. Find the book, stack the book, go out the window. Hopefully the lady doesn't come back. Find that we've taken all her books and stacked them real good. No books here. There we go. Can I go out the window? Or is there something I need to achieve in here first? Maybe I need to do something in here first. Don't know what that would be. Like, maybe take the noose down? <laughs> maybe? Could be useful. Okay. I feel like we should just be able to go. Oh, we just need to crash down. Was ahead of him. Ola knew he had to hurry before she could complete the ritual. Oh, so we're trying to stop the witch from if he doing. Did not catch up with the woman. Yep. The swamp would swallow another child. We're trying to stop the infanticide. He did not know. That someone else wanted to hold him back. A midwife who wanted more dark souls to take care of. Is the midwife the scarecrow? I've been waiting for her. Always walking through swamps. I feel like the light was leading us this way, right? <laughs> Love that now it's underwater. As if it wasn't difficult enough to see the, uh, where we were going anyway. Warren Ellis fever dream. Let's go. There's the scarecrow again. Maybe she can't swim. I'm hoping.
one terrifying lady. Okay. All right. Tensions are high. Are you gonna hit me with another cradle? Get out of here, midwife. Okay. Well, that wasn't so bad. Whew. She was not happy with me. I mean, I guess she was a swamp midwife, you know? Maybe she's just unhappy with her job description. Alright, making our way through this increasingly thick bramble. Oh, there she is. Oh yeah, just a blood sigil. Of course. Let's go and stop this ritual. Can I wipe off the sigil? That would be too easy. Can't even open the door. Okay, how do we get through there then? It's locked with magic. Then what's the way forward? Up here? Can I get around onto that house? No. We have to backtrack to go forward. Yeah. We've got to go around. Ah, uh, I see. Over the roof and far away. Oh! Okay. The Bramble is not happy with us. Okay, lucky. That was lucky. Or was it? We seem to keep finding ourselves in worse and worse situations. So maybe it wasn't lucky at all. Maybe we're about to find ourselves neck deep in something terrible. Oh, yep. Yeah. Another one of those. Okay.
There's something unfortunate down there. Can we jump off the ladder backwards? No. Gonna be down to the wire. Can't stay on a boardwalk to save my life, and I'm literally trying to. more of those watches yeah hello excuse me coming through excuse me coming through thank you oh I got those grabby hands No. What happens next? Guess we'll find out next episode. And that's it for this episode of Bramble the Mountain King. I had a great time. I thought it was a lot of fun. There's some really beautiful scenery in there and some excellent sequences. Really building an amazing atmosphere. Did you have a favorite part of the game? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this episode, please hit the like and subscribe button so you can be informed next time I roll out another episode of Bramble the Mountain King. Also, if you missed the first episode, go give it a look. There's some awesome stuff in there. Good night, fiends. Till next we meet.